sign the word, but uh, I don't can express it. Expressing it. But I, I have words mm -hmm. in, in my mind. Excellent. Hola. Bye, I'll call play basketball if this is if the same time you it's very it's yes. difficult. What happened, Flor? It's a little bit difficult to talk because sometimes we don't have the enough uh, vocabulary. Yes, it's okay. That's why we mm -hmm. <laughs> For example, Gisela tell me eh, that she likes un poquito de todas las músicas. How can we say, teacher? How do you say un poquito? A little. Exactly. A little of, of music. No, but I can't. <laughs> How do you say I todo? A little. A little all. Oh. Okay, good. The, the important is practice like... using the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, todo is also everything. Everything. So, Gis so Gisela likes a little of everything. Eh, Gisela likes uh -huh. rock music. Eh, eso de, de, de rock. <laughs> because mm -hmm. a little of everything. Yes, Gisela? Yes. You see? Exactly. A little of everything. Ah, okay. A little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Continue. Continue. <laughs> Don't be, only mm -hmm. use the vocabulary that you have. Mm -hmm. Do you like to watch TV? Yes, I like because, well, I have a, a little TV and I like to watch. And I, I am very, Excite, excite when I play the football. Uh, do you like play? Do you like soccer? Soccer. 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 I like basketball and swimming. Because basketball, I practice in a little in the school. And swimming, uh, I think is very relaxing. And I practice a little too in, in, at the university. Uh, uh, I like going on. Uh, andar en bicicleta, eh, ride a bike with ride my daughter. A... Okay. Why, Ada? Explain why. Uh, because it's funny and I Justoso. Ada? Divertido. Ah, uh, fun. It's fun. Ada? Ada? Yes. Hola. Uh huh. It's fun. Okay, okay, Ada. Como que te cortaste. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. We can say is funny. Yes, but funny is chistoso. Uh, funny is correct, but it's like, ha, 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 ha. It's like, Ada says, it's funny. O sea, es chistoso porque la gente se cae. Uh, fa funny uh -huh. with ing? No. No. We no. Can... It's no verb. Uh huh. Okay, ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Like happy, right? No happening. Mm -hmm. okay. You're welcome, you're welcome. 
<laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. One moment. Okay. Very good. It's very important. Let me let me make sure that we understand. It's good job that you are speaking and you are trying. Let me explain the difference. Okay. Más importante que tener el vocabulario es usar el vocabulario que ya tenés. Todos nos encantaría tener más vocabulario. Pero si no lo tenés, no te quedes sin hablar solo por eso. Porque eso hace que tú mismo no tengas más vocabulario. El hecho de no usar lo que tenés es el problema. ¿Quién le gustaría tener un millón de dólares? Pero no lo tenemos. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos? Usamos lo que tenemos. Ah, me, a mí me gustaría comprar un yate. No lo tengo. Ah, me conformo con una lancha en Ecuatepeque. ¿Eh? Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Eso es lo mismo que tu vocabulario del inglés. No te preocupes del deseo de tener mejor inglés. Ponete a practicar tu inglés para que llegue a ese nivel. Eso es la diferencia. ¿Ok? So remember, always continue, continue practicing. If you don't know, ok, perfecto. Hey, Dicho, yo no sé cómo se dice eso. Excelente. Eso te indica a ti anotar lo que quieres decir para que lo investigues, porque obviamente para ti es importante. Ah, no sabes cómo decirlo. Decirlo en otra forma. No sabes cómo explicarlo. Explicarlo con ejemplos. Explicarlo, darle a ah, tener que buscarle solución. Yes. Excelente. Sí. Yes, Flor. No, I agree, I agree. Thank you, Flor, thank you, yes. This is the most important, the most important. Estuve en muchos grupos y en muchos, es que no sé, es que no sé cómo decir, no puedo explicar, yes. Y cabalito lo que dije que no hicieran, la respuesta, ¡cum! cortitas. Así no van a mejorar. Practice long. Y para ayudarles, le vamos a dejar una tarea extra para mañana. Mañana todos van a hablar por un minuto describiendo una película, libro, serie, cantante, artistas que les gusta y explicando por qué. ¿Por qué? ¿Ok? Para que utilicen. ¡Hey! Yo no sé cómo se dice. ¡Excelente! Hoy tenés 24 horas para investigar lo que quieres decir. O usar lo que ya sabes. ¿Y es? Excellent. Así yeah. vamos a mejorar. Good teacher, I like it. Thank you, Van Gogh. Excellent. Perfect. Let's continue then. Because tomorrow we have the opportunity to speak. And Hector is going to be the number one. Yes, Hector? Ah, okay, Hector. Exactly. Exactly. Excellent, Hector. Okay. Let's continue with the platform. Here, we're going to listen to people. Similar, the explanation for tomorrow. Similar, the idea for tomorrow. We're going to, they're going to talk about books and movies that they like and they don't like and different things. We're going to listen and identify why. Why they like it. Is it fascinating, silly, strange, wonderful? Odd, boring, boring, terrific, dreadful, or ridiculous, interesting, exciting. So listen to four and identify what the people say about the books and movies. Ready? Yes, ready. Okay. Okay. Page 88. Exercise 5. 
Listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books and movies. Do you think each person would recommend the book or movie? 1. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. 2. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. 3. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. 4. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Page 88. Exercise 5. Part B. Okay. First, before we listen to Part B, let's choose number one. What did you think was number one? What is her opinion about the Stephen King? Fascinating. Fascinating. Yes. Good. Fascinating. Number two? Boring. <laughs> Boring. Boring. Jim Carrey. Oh. Number three? Terrific. Terrific. Okay. And the last one, number four? Ridiculous. 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 Okay. Let's do part B. Check one more time. Listen again. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. One. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. 2. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. 3. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. 4. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Okay. It's okay or do you want to change any answers? Okay, then we agree. Very nice. Take a look. All the answers are correct. Fascinating, boring, terrific, and ridiculous. These are what they talk about in the books and the movies. Similar for you tomorrow, but tomorrow you're going to speak for one minute describing a book, a movie, an actor, a singer, and explain why. Okay, 
why is your opinion? For me, it's not important you like. I don't like. Explain why you don't like. I hate about sport? anything about sport? about sport. It's okay. Explain you like a team. Ah, I like Barcelona. I like fast. I like people. Why? Why? The most important is the description. Why you like or you don't like. But don't worry, Ivan. Hector is number one, and then you pass number two. Relax. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Hector. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Let's continue then. Perfect. Let's take a look at our next topic. Ivan, please read the next topic. What is the objective? 3.8. Yeah. By the end of this class, participants will learn to use relative clauses in order to join two ideas into one. Correct. The idea is put two sentences in one. This is the approach. Two into one. Let's look at some examples how to do this. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today, we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns, who, which, that. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89. Exercise 9. Grammar Focus. Relative Clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. Okay. So what are we looking at? We're looking at how to take two sentences. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. And to put it together so we don't repeat he only one time. For this, we can use who or that when we describe people. So the two sentences we make into one and eliminate he. Only use it at the beginning. The same for the things, like a movie. The movie, it's a movie. Okay, it stars Kate Winslet. The same it, we eliminate and we put the two sentences into one. It's okay or any questions? It's okay, teacher. All right, let's look at some more examples and explanation. But we want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Brad Pitt is an actor. Gladiator is a movie. Okay, let's practice with those two. How can we finish the sentence? Mm -hmm. What can we put as a compliment? Brad Pitt is an actor who films a lot of movies. Good. Very nice. Who films a lot of movies. Good. Because who, we are talking about a person. Remember, for people, we can use who or that. The same sentence. Brad Pitt is an actor that films a lot of movies. What about the next one? Or is a movie which made me 
which made me cry. Cry. Good. And the same. Gladiator is a movie that made me cry. It's okay how to use who and that. Yes. Brad Pitt is an actor. Gladiator is a movie. Perfect. So tomorrow we're going to go ahead with our presentations and try to focus in using the different grammar, but more importantly, describing with adjectives. Okay? Whatever you like, but describe why yes, why no, what, whatever you think. Any questions for today in the vocabulary, the grammar, the topic? We can look in for the, the information for the an actor in the internet teacher for we can speak more thing about him. Yes, Hector, no problem. But tomorrow you speak, not reading. Yeah. Um, I, I I can uh, what do you say aprender uh, uh, memorizar memorize yeah, you try but look for the information for example Brad Pitt is an actor who was born in Australia and he met try to imagine right it's not necessary the information it's necessary the fluency the details and the pronunciation, okay? Thank you, sir. I uh, get it. Great. Have a nice night. Thank you so much for connecting today. Thank Good night, you. Bye -bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a nice one.